All right, so welcome back. On the last video, we did a really cool thing, and we started displaying some dynamic categories from our database, from our table, right here on the categories, right? This information, we're displaying it dynamically. Pretty cool. So now, the next step is, and we could actually do different things, but I want to be able to take you to the meat of the project, of the, uh, of the course. I want to be able to start displaying some of this content here dynamically so f for us we could do the search engine later and we can do we can do this later all right we don't need to worry about that now let's do the meat right now <laughs> call it the meat because it's actually like really important so we need to make a table for this first all right so let's go to our PHP my admin let's create another table all right and let's just click on CMS and let's cre create another table called posts P O S T E S, no, actually P O S T S, post, as you can see right there. Let's just create it with seven rows, I think we need columns. And on this, we are going to be saying we need a post ID. It's going to be an integer. And let's just make this a little this way. We don't need to see that right now. As a matter of fact, I think we can click there and it takes the whole screen. There we go. But then it's too big right here all right so post ID is gonna be an integer that's what INT means and it's gonna be three characters it could go to 999 that's what it means let's make it index primary and auto increment let's create another one let's call this post ID actually post category ID it's fine this is we're gonna be using this to relate uh, relate this data this table with another one all right so we're going to create relational data, relational tables, all right? You can look it up on Google, but that's when we relate data to other tables with one table. All right, so category ID, what else we need? We need a post title. I think we should put that, not tile, title. There we go. And I wrote it again. There we go. Uh, let's, we're forgetting that we need to put, this is a VAR card for TETS. 255. I always like to do the match on this bar car. Actually, that's an idea. Actually, I'm sorry. The bar car is the next one. And I make it three. This I make a bar car 255. And what can we put next after the title? So we got it. Actually, the author is the first thing on our site right here. But we don't need to go in order, by the way. We can just organize it later on with PHP. But I like to do it like this. I think it's, it's nice to do that. So we have the post title and then we have the author and the date. Post title, post author, 255. I think the post date was the next. We don't need to do it like that, like I said, but um, we're going to use a date field in that one. We don't need to provide that. And what else can we do here? post I think let's go back to it let's read it. post picture and content is the nets so post image post content all right let's make sure that the image is a text just in case and post content is text all right I think we're good here and let's just click save uh, as a matter of fact, I forgot something. Let's go back and let's create, let's just post. Let's go back to it and let's check out, let's add another ID actually. Let's add two more. Click on two here. Three more actually. All right, because we want to add post tags here so that way we can use it with a search engine for keyword lookup and we want to add comment count so that way we can count the comments for this specific post and status all right so we're going to be doing this in order post and we say that the post thing the first thing that we need is post comment count is it no post tags i'm sorry and i'm asking you and you all the way over there how can you answer me right that was not nice right <laughs> post comment count and post status 
All right. Status. All right. So var card 255 on all this. The post task could be pretty long. I don't think we can go over 255. That's fine. You can make a text if you want. Post status, uh, we are going to be using text. We could use zeros and ones just to say that if post is the post is zero, we can deny it or whatnot. But I'm going to say var card 255. And I'm gonna set a default for this. The default for the posts are gonna be denied. All right, or actually draft, draft. All right. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna even do that right now. We can do that later. We can set this later like this. Actually, let's do it right now, I'm sorry. Let's do it right now so that way you can see how this works, all right? So, post status, comment, count, Post tax, we're good to go. And let's just click save. All right, perfect. Let's go back to our structure and we have everything here. Just make sure that everything is spelled correctly. Post content, post tax, comment count. All right, I think I did good. No grammar problems, all right? So I think this video is long enough for this lecture here. So I'm gonna see you in the next lecture where we're gonna be doing some more work. But we on this one here, we created the post table and we added some, some of this uh, fields in here, some of these rows. All right, so I see you in the next lecture. Take care. Thank you.